All right, we are back with more Strong Batty of the Free, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. I'm Orwa Usopp, and this is that game I just mentioned. All right, let's go back to the Hamsar Reservation. Is this going to take much longer? Quit whining. Strong said, do you have to carry this huge trunk with you every time you travel? It contains all my delicate undergarments and the various delicate creams and salves I use on my delicate personal areas. Ah! Strong said, do you have to give me the jibblies every time I ask you a question? Ah! Also, game was too loud, so I've just turned it down a tiny bit. Alright, let's see if these artifacts can't help us understand the Hamsar language. <laughs> That made me feel a little vibracious. I love the words. I gotta do that up. again. Little port metals. All right. Throw in the power strip. I can't decipher this ancient hum artifact on my own. Yes, yes. I didn't mean to use it on you, stupid. Throw it in. The pottery shard. And the last artifact towards understanding the Hamsar language. Yay! I understand everything now. It's all so simple. It was the pride of the peaches. Wow, that was vibracious and flotatious. Oh yeah, totally. Now we can understand Hamsa. A weird rock with popsicle crystals and a suspiciously obvious hole in the top. Could this unlock the mystery of the people of the Hamsa Reservation? And do I give enough of a crap to find out? Let's go find out! Yay! Hello, Strong Bad. What's the haps? Hey, I can understand you now! Your voice is so soothing! Thank you. I do radio ads for local jewelry and watch repair shops. I'm sure you have many questions. Ask away. How does that popsicle stand work, anyway? You have reassembled the sacred elemental items of collection. Ordinarily, you would have to face a punishingly difficult final dungeon and disappointing end cutscene. Oh. But the ancient prophecy foretold of a young boy that would one day come to usher in a new era of... All right, shut up, filibuster! Never would have asked if I'd known you were such a windbag! Be nice. Ah, ah, ah. I'm the old Jalboa jump shot! Why are you talking gibberish, Strong Bad? You sound like a two years old boy. That was awesome. Do you want to join Strong Badia and help overthrow the of town? Off a, off cliff? a cliff? Why should my people risk open war for you and your considerable style? We're not gonna risk war. We're gonna start one. Listen to what that royal boil did to me. First, he wrinkled the top of the breads and cereals grew. That fiend! My baseboards are full of chicken sticks. What? And he's really fat and stupid. Hmm. Then I have no choice. We will join Strong Badia. First for some sandwiches, then to die side by side in battle. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nobody said anything about dying. But first, you must complete the three ancient tasks of great boredom. Oh, what? no! No, man. Just messing with you. Let's do this like Brutus. That was awesome. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, you already saw Why that. Are you I thought it might be different. All right, put on your dancing shoes, Hamsar. Time to make a move on the castle. I will follow you, my brother. And these are my dancing shoes. But first, we must perform the uncle ancient Chet. sacred ceremony my Uncle Chet taught me when I was a kid. I've always wanted to try it. Is it gonna take long? Or hurt? Or hurt long? Relax. Let the energy build. Join me in the summoning song. Our translation artifact. Whoa, way to go, Uncle 
Shit! Well, I'm a song from the 60s. Fantastic. He's back to abnormal. Let's get out of here, strong side. I can't wait to journal about the nightmares I'm gonna have from this experience. No kidding. Actually, it really wasn't that particularly traumatic. Another continent, the Hamsar Reservation. Who else could bring modern conveniences to this backwards land other than the intrepid emancipator, Strong Dad? Welcome to the 20th century, Hamsar. Raised by a cup of coffee, indeed. You know, I'm getting really attached to that old-timey na movie, movie on, narrator. Come on we're so glad that you made it this far. Oh, it's just strong bad. Do you have any food to declare? What brand of idiocy have I stumbled upon here? This is the Free People's Republic of Marsistar, a hostile territory. Yikes. Welcome to Homestar. Homestar, we've talked about this. It's Marsistar. No, seriously. Do you have any food to declare? Yeah, no. Frank Benedetto fell in service to his country during the First Battle of Strongbadia. Even though we were on different sides of that conflict, that soldier had real butter. You gotta respect that. Yep. Benedetto the Popcorn Machine. Man, the King of Town's castle is surrounded by some ominous clouds. Yay! I found something! Yay! A souvenir flag from the People's Republic of Marsistar. Let me guess, it biodegrades into an eco-friendly fertilizer. I don't believe I can actually solve anything here yet. So let's get that thing out of the mailbox that I remember is there, and then we'll move on. To Pom Pomerania! Wonder if Marzipan ever got that stink bomb I sent to... Oh, even better! Page 2 of my Algebra's instruction manual. This one details the Icy Hot Polar Coordinates attack move. Polar Coordinates? Okay. If you say so, Mr. Strong Bad. Let's head to Pom Pomerania. Pom Pomerania, exotic land of enchantment, mystery, and ladies' drink specials on Tuesday nights. Ooh. I quickly made my way to a trendy party club in the nation's capital, a trendy party club, for a summit with their Popomatic Prime Minister. Hey, Strong Bubs? Bubs, you're the leader of Pom Pomerania? Heck no, I'm just tin and bar and doing some occasional translational work. And I'm definitely not embezzling thousands in cash from the club. How sweet of you. Man, he's a greedy monster. And not really good at hiding it. In any aspect. Page 4 of my Algebra's instruction manual. This one unlocks the mysteries of the divide by zero you move. You can't divide by zero. I want a bull honky. What are you doing in Pom Pomerania, Bubs? Oh, I was stationed here after the war and fell in love with the place. Give me a drink. Give me one of those obscenely overpriced drinks, Bubs. What'll it be? Which one tastes the best? Taste? It's not about taste. Son, you're in Pom Pomerania now. Where being cool is all about holding the right drink. So which is I want is a bull honky. How about a thin, overpriced can of bull honky? What an energy sauce coming right up. Oh, that takes me back. I remember when people thought it was cool to order bull honky. Doesn't matter about being cool, it's just... Bull honky, caffeine energy sauce. The thin can energy drink for people so cool, they don't need to use their eyelids. I thought I was supposed to get off black. Step aside, party people. Strongbad's all up in this coffee mug. What? Those moves were fresh baked this morning. Well, apparently they sucked. Ooh, a box of glow sticks. These are the glow sticks the cheat gives out when he's spinning at the club. He's spinning at the club now. For years, I thought these were those waxy soda bottle candies. Then my doctor told me my stomach had a half-life of 302. Yeah, I'm sure they don't taste that good. All right. Hey, Shogun, you look a little vanilla. How's about a little flavor? No fuzzy dice, strong man. The Shogun thinks you look too empty-handed. Well then, I was sure we got our flag for ordering a bull honky. 
Bull Hunky. Give me one of yes, those yes. of sea fiddle it be. A can of Bull Hunky, Bubs. Make it special. One energy sauce coming right up. That special? You can at least put a little lump there we go. flag in it. Oh, all right. Pom Pom Marinia. Pom Pom flag. All right. Give me one of those yes, obscenely. Yes. What'll it be? Um, a cold one? Give me a tall, frosty cold one. This is a classy place, Strong Band. We only serve cold ones, extra stout, black. Ten pounds of wheat and every box. Awesome. No, the one we actually need to order. It, what's that? You gotta give me some pointers on how to dance cool, Bubs. Cool dancing can't be taught, Strong Band, but it can be bought. Sure. Say, Barkey, got any tips on how I can get Pom Pom to join my evil empire? Calling it, not calling him evil empire, to dude. Him first, and that ain't gonna be easy. His royal coolness shogun Pom Pom has taste, class, style, and panache, all out the royal wazoo. Yeah. Ew, sounds painful. So what I gotta do? Out cool him? Out cool gulp his wazoo? Yeah. Not while I'm bartending. No, the way to impress the Shogun is to look cool on the dance floor. That'll be easy. I look cool on all types of floors. And I can dance like a robot programmed to dance like a good dancing no, human. No, you cannot. Well, good luck. But I'll tell you, it'll take more than just dancing out there. I don't care what type of robot you are. Give me a glowy drink. Give me one of those yes, yes. scenery open. Let me... The glowy drink. I want the most expensive, gl expensive, glowingest drink you got. Aha! I've got just the thing! The Atom Smasher Guarana Dude, Blast. that sounds awesome! My personal favorite of the Shogun! That sounds incredibly awesome, actually. But you know what? It's not quite glowy enough yet. Now we're talking! I bet you could see this thing from space! Hey, astronauts! Throw me down some freeze-dried ice cream! And none of that Neapolitan crap! All right. Whoa, now I can separate the strobe light honeys from the actual hot girls. And probably blind a few in the process. Epic. All right, Pom Pom, prepare to be blinded by awesomeosity. Ooh, Pom Pom's impressed. That's one impressed Pom Pom. Ooh, now that's what I call an entrance. Wait, you'll join Strong Badia? But I didn't even get a chance to show off my moves. Well, while you're ahead. That was awesome. Bob Pomeranian, you the beast. And now they're choosing Strong Bad's crowd, as he's bounced into their heathen land and showed them how our boys do things back home. From here, Strong Bad can set his sights on all the free nations of the world. Maybe we should all start brushing up on our awesome. All right. All right, let's take that sword. Mmm, it's a razor-sharp decorative samurai sword. I bet that thing could Julian a phone book into a tin can. I highly doubt it. Oh yeah, if you're gonna stop me from doing what I want to do, I'm gonna make your kimono suffer. The flaming kimonos. Sounds like one of those messy-haired, strong-sad bands. Man, is that thing just gonna keep burning? Alright, let's see if we can't pull the old switcheroo. The strong bad moves like the stinky breeze. By the time you smell it, he's already gone. Man, that kimono just keeps on burning. The flaming kimono! Yes, yes, you said this. All right, we've laid claim to Pom Pomerania and the Homsar Res Res Reservation. I think that's a good enough time to stop. Next time we'll head on to the barren and frightening country known only as Country. What, you expected Strong Mad to be able to give it a complex name? I'll see you soon.